God sent the angel Gabriel to the town of Nazareth on Galilee with a message for a virgin named Mary. She was engaged to Joseph from the family of King David. The angel greeted Mary and said, You are truly blessed. The Lord is with you. Mary was confused by the angel's words and wondered what they meant. Then the angel told Mary, Don't be afraid. God is pleased with you. And you will have a son. His name will be Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of God Most High. The Lord God will make him king as his ancestor David was. He will rule the people of Israel forever, and his kingdom will never end. Mary asked the angel, How can this happen? I'm not married. The angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come down to you, and God's power will come over you. So your child will be called the Holy Son of God. Mary said, I'm the Lord's servant. Let it happen as you have said. And the angel left her. Mary, you are going to have a little baby named Jesus. Okay. About that time, Emperor Augustus gave orders for the names of all the people to be listed in record books. These first records were made when Quirinus was governor of Syria. Everyone had to go to their own hometown to be listed, so Joseph had to leave Nazareth in Galilee and go to Bethlehem in Judea. Long ago, Bethlehem had been King David's hometown, and Joseph went there because he was from David's family. Mary was engaged to Joseph and traveled with him to Bethlehem. She was soon going to have a baby. Haven't you seen the guests coming? There are so many! I know! There's like five family families coming. We are going to be packed. I know that Jeff and Tammy are going out shopping for so much food. And we're going to have so many guests. I wonder if, some, if anything special is coming to Bethlehem this year. While Mary and Joseph were in Bethlehem, she gave birth to her firstborn son. She dressed him in baby clothes and laid him on a bed of hay because there was no room in them for the inn. That night, in the fields near Bethlehem, some shepherds were guarding their sheep. All at once, an angel came down to them from the Lord, and the brightness of Lord's glory flashed around them. The shepherds were frightened. But the angel said, Don't be afraid, I have good news for you, which will make everyone happy. This very day, in King David's hometown, a Savior was born for you. He is Christ the Lord. You will know who he is, because you will find him dressed in a baby clothes and lying on a bed of hay. Suddenly, many other angels came down from heaven and joined in praising God. They said, Glory to God in the highest, and peace to God's people on earth. Well, son, I would say it's the great 401k match we have and the great vacation policy and health insurance. That's why I took this job. Look at the land. Soak it in. This will be all yours someday. All yours. Oh.
Hark the herald angels sing Glory to the newborn King Peace on earth and mercy mild God and sinners reconciled Joyful all ye nations rise Join the triumph of the skies With angelic hosts proclaim Christ is born in Bethlehem Hark the herald angels sing Glory to the newborn King Christ by highest heaven adored Christ the everlasting Lord Late in time behold Him come Offspring of a virgin Godhead see, hail incarnate deity, please as man with us to dwell, Jesus our Emmanuel, hark the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn King, hail the heaven born Prince of Peace, hail the Son of Righteousness. had left and gone back to heaven, the shepherds said to each other, Let's go to Bethlehem and see what the Lord has told us about. They hurried off and found Mary and Joseph, and they saw the baby lying in a bed of hay. Sent us 
salvation, a blessed Christmas morn. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. Oh, well now go tell it on the mountain. When the shepherds saw Jesus, they told his parents what the angel had said about him. Everyone listened and was surprised, but Mary kept thinking about all this and wondering what it meant. As the shepherds returned to their sheep, they were praising God and saying wonderful things about him. Everything they had seen and heard was just as the angel had said. The star is over there! Where? Over there! I want to be the star because the star doesn't have to sit. When Jesus was born in the village of Bethlehem in Judea, Herod was king. During this time, some wise guys from the east came to Jerusalem and said, Where is this child born to be king? We saw his star in the east and have come to worship him. Herod secretly called the wise guys and asked them when they had first seen the star. He told them, Go to Bethlehem and search carefully for the child. As soon as you find him, let me know. I want to go and worship him too. Did you see the star now? Looking out my bedroom window, and it was so big you could see it from a thousand miles away. Oh my God! Haven't you seen how busy it is in the town? Everyone is coming from all over. No, haven't you seen them? Yeah. Look, there are some people over there. There are only three of them. The wise guys listened to what the king had said and then left. And the star they had seen in the east went on ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. They were thrilled and excited to see the star. When the wise guys went to the house and saw the child with Mary, his mother, they knelt down and worshipped him. They took out their gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh and gave them to him. Later, they were warned in a dream not to return to Herod, and they went back home by another road. Well, that's something you don't see every day. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us, authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. 